There's the new uh, engine for the turbo Mustang. It was a crate motor, but then I got the short block second hand. And uh, yeah, it's got like 500 miles on it. Hyper eutectic pistons, cast rods and crank, uh, E303 cam, which is pretty cool. All the bearings look good. Um, it's a really clean block. Alright, so in the bore, there's the uh, cross hatching still in the cylinder from when they uh, ball honed it, which kind of tells you that it's still, still good and the cylinder's not worn out at all. So here's a little plaque that tells you all the information about the engine. Uh, Ford Racing Technologies, there's the part number, which would be the crate engine that the block came from, because it did come as a crate engine. It has the liters that the engine is, the displacement, and then it has its manufacturing date, which was 71206. And there's the serial number down at the bottom. Alright, so on the bottom end, everything is just cast, cast crank, cast rods. Uh, it looks like they were the rods were balanced. So the engine also came with a Ford Racing E303 cam. Some of the specs on that are the duration 282 intake and exhaust. Um, valve lift at 50 thousandths is 220 degrees, so that'll go nice with the turbo Mustang. Make it sound a little better, too. Alright, guys, so uh, the heads I'm thinking about running are just some uh, GT40s or some GT40Ps. Um, I don't want to go aluminum because... I have to pay an arm and a leg for a set of those, and uh, it's not in the budget. So uh, I'm hoping soon to uh, get this engine all dressed with everything and uh, get her slapped back in the turbo Mustang and start uh, start ripping her again. So thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, click like down there, and uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. Thanks for watching.